Good morning, everyone. Um, before you is a copy of my presentation, and it's a document containing some measures I have put in place to increase demands of our products, thereby increasing inflow of cash into the system. Over the months, like we all know, CarMax Limited have suffered low patronage from potential clients, reasons I am yet to find out. Um, also, records from the manufacturing department shows that there's been a massive decrease of supply due to low demands of our products in the labor markets. And so this presentation is more or less like a guide to help us find better ways of combating this ugly situation. Thank you very much. Well, that was a very beautiful presentation, I must say. Thank you, sir. I can only imagine what I would have done without you, Miss Anita. Well done. And I guess you all enjoyed the presentation. Yes. Right? It's in that light, I want us to quickly do what we can to make sure we put in our best to make this film grow. Thank you all. We can all go back to work. Thank you, sir. assistant nope I'm good well I could help if you don't mind oh I'm sorry if I offended you okay my name is um Benjamin Kofi Mr. Benjamin Kofi nice to meet you <laughs> Some cockroaches in my cupboard 
old ghost in my corridor And I can't shake it And I can't shake it now Lord knows that I've been strong for so long Took my time to build this defenses No, can watch it come down now Cause I got dark secrets Oh, ghosts in my corridor I got dark secrets Nobody can understand But I've got dark secrets Secrets I can seem to shake up Dark secrets Nobody knows how deep it hurts And nobody cares I gotta be strong for myself I gotta keep keeping on Cause all I got is me Through the rising fall Mirror on the wall Here we go again Secrets, secrets Secrets, secrets Secrets, secrets No, sir, bring me the documents that contains the donation for Kara Holdings Limited. In fact, bring me their documents, all the transactions we've had. Bring everything. The document you requested. No, sir, drop the. Must I collect them from. Where is the. Where is the document that has the. The quotation for the last. For the last. Um, Payment before the new one was approved. Uh, oh, ma, those are all the documents of our transactions with them. Yeah, so I don't think those documents is with us. I don't understand you. What do you mean? Where else would they be? Maybe it, it, maybe it might be with the accountant or something. Are you for real? I, I still saw those documents the last time I worked on this file, like two days ago. What are you saying? No. Yeah. Yeah. My friend, what are you doing? Check that doc that file we are holding. Don't don't get me angry. You know what to do. You just always want to wait for me to scream. The next thing you get to start meeting and say, eh, eh, Miss Anita knows how to how to scream, how to yell. Rubbish. Oh, hmm. there's it. Oh, hmm. my eye. The guy is too much, man. So sorry. Listen to me, Nusa. I work too much. You of all people should know this. I do my work and you don't expect me to do yours, the work you're being paid for. No. Your job here is to make mine easy and not compound things for me. I'm, 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 I'm sorry, ma. I'm sorry, ma. Here, make three copies of this for me.
Hold it. Hold, 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 wait. What's with this? This markings and, and I mean, with different handwriting on this document. What's going on here? Ah, uh, ma, uh, the thing is, uh, Mr. Kofi told me to do the same three copies, you know, for him, you know, so it was uh, inside the copier. Before, you know, you, you, you Mr. Who, excuse you? No, sir. Ma? How many times have I told you that on no account should any document leave this session without my consent? Mama, you are not on the seat. You are under my jurisdiction. Mr. Kofi, or whatever he is, has no right whatsoever to tamper on any of my working documents without my consent. Do you know what this means? No, no, ma. This is betrayal and insubordination. Ah. Ah, what? Ah, what? Ma, ma, the thing is, you know, you don't, you, you won't understand. She, the problem is, he was the first assistant general manager. So, of... when was he employed? Do I even remember? When was the last week? Last month? Last month? No, oh, last year. Last I month. started this company from scratch, Musa, and you know that. What does that make me? Will you tell me? What am? Oh. I get it. My position doesn't really matter. I know it doesn't count. Nothing I do ever counts in this office. He's the next first general. Get out of my office. Yeah, you still need a copy. No, I don't need a copy. Get out! He's the first general manager. My foods! can stand there and judge us lie Cause that is the easiest thing to do Ooh. I've got some cockroaches <sighs> Miss Ola, shouldn't you have called before coming or something? Yeah, don't get me hungry, please. Ah. Do you know how many days I've been knocking out there for like a fool? <laughs> Why did you drop your phone, Seth? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I... I... Do you know I almost turned back? Oh, I'm sorry, I may have dropped the phone somewhere. Don't be angry, Joe. You, you should learn to call ahead of time. Annie, look, this is our house. And your office is my office. <laughs> the only difference is that you're lucky I don't resume with you at 8 a.m. <laughs> so what am I doing with my life after Junior goes to school? Watch African magic. This is African magic. Mm. <laughs> I'm sure one of these days they'll give you the award for the most consistent viewer of all time. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I resume work at 6.30 a.m. and not 8 a.m., madam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now you sabi. <laughs> well, at least you laugh. Mm -hmm. <gasps> well, mm -hmm. by the way, Anita. What? When I was leaving your office yesterday, there's this cute, good-looking, macho guys that I saw. Man, if I was not married. Ah! Anita, 
I will have staged an accident that, you know, now I will talk to him and we'll be touching. So, is he not? Bisola! Ah! So this, this is why you left your husband's house. Mm. Ah, you know, get shame, one single shame. Mm. Hey, God, <laughs> what you created. Do you think they even did, uh, what was it called, naming ceremony? Ah, you know, get shame, one single shame. Mm. Even for me, <laughs> mm? insult me how you like, insult me and my generation. You will still tell me, oh yeah, who is he? Who is he? Please. What? Well, I don't want to talk about him. Ah, thank God. Anita, you take things too hard. Eh? When it comes to men, you don't want to talk about it. You don't want to say anything about it. Eh? Are you hiding something from me? I mean, are you a lesbian? <laughs> you, know, I beg, I beg. you can't even be a lesbian because you don't even behave like one. Eh? You know, my problem with you, Bisola, is that you talk so much. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. Look at me. Mm. Look at this house. Take a proper look at my life in general. You think I attained this height, tripping for some macho men or and taking things easy in life? No. I do not settle for less because I know what I truly deserve. Let me tell you something. Soon, very soon, there's going to be a reshuffling in my office. And I'm beginning to hear that the the new guy, the fresher, the one you just asked about, mm. he's up for the general manager's position. Like, can you imagine that? I give value to that organization. Ten times more than any of them put together. But whenever an opening comes for a promotion or something, I'm the least to be considered. I don't get this one bit, Bisola. Down. You need to learn to calm down. This is not a rocket science, you know. This is a man's word. And especially the corporate word. Bull crap. Man, <laughs> what can he do that I can't? No. Whatever he can do, I can do double, Bisola. As a matter of fact, I have achieved so much that even in his next life, he will never dream to dare. The only thing he has that I do not have are those stupid things in between his legs, those nonsense genitals. <laughs> are you just telling me about my ma mom's? Please. <laughs> Anita, at least you have a female genital. It's high time you started using it. Pisola. Anita. You're unbelievable. Anita, the problem is you. You! You are a pathetic feminist. You need to be more practical. There's nothing as ideal as being part of the, the world married women. That is the only way we get to win. I do not intend to win you in this. I know we will not agree on this, so might as well just drop it, please. Hmm. Anita, marry, you don't want to marry. Shake body, you don't want shake body. Which one, Seth? Eh? Yeah? Ah, uh, uh, mommy. I some man. Ah, mommy, I'm in a meeting now. When I finish, I'll call you back. Okay, mommy. Bye. Go down. Huh. Hey, my dear. That's my mother-in-law. That woman calls me hundred times a day. Ah, what? I don't know that the time has gone like this. I need to go and make my hair. Book an appointment with Air Wonder. Oh. Air Wonder. Yes. You still go there? Mm -hmm. We have time. I just run home service. I don't have time to go and sit at that salon and be looking at the mm. face. Yeah, at least you have money to waste. 
I don't have. Go and get dressed. You're dropping me. Drop. I don't understand. When did we agree on that? Come on now, my friend. Please, please, now, please, 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 please. Be ah. cool. Oh, yeah, now. Oh, yeah, now what? No, go and drop me. Your wala is too much, I swear. <laughs> I even had. I, I was preparing to eat something. Don't just bother me, oh! Don't uh, bother me. Uh uh. Ah. What are friends for if we don't inconvenience each other? Hmm. Oh yeah, now quick, I beg. Where are you coming from? That has not answered my question. Where are you coming from? I'm sorry. I went to see Anita and from there, I went to make my hair. My stylist took longer and there were a lot of people there. And... Hey, are you there? Bisola. Do you have any idea what I go through every day to make life comfortable for you and our little son? After a stressful day at work, I'll come back to my house and still fix dinner for myself. Come on, Shagun. It's not as if you have to prepare anything. I practically set everything before leaving the house. All you have to do is microwave it. <laughs> microwave? Are you trying to downplay this? Is it too much after a stressful work day to be served by my wife? Oh, so this was why you insisted we take Junior to go and spend some time with my mother, right? Shaku, I don't understand you. First, you asked me to quit my job. I did. Don't I have a right to even go out and ask for fresh air? When fresh airs begin to affect your responsibilities as my wife, I will never allow you have it. Enjoy the one you have inside the house. It will not kill you. That's the problem with you. That is the problem with you. You don't seem to care about what I want. It's always about you. Everything is about you. Since when do you become so self-centered? Isola. <sighs> self-centered. Really? Yes. I work to pay bills. I take care of vertically all your siblings. I give you monthly allowances. And here I am, self-centered. Bissola, you are very ungrateful. Shekun! Yes! And, listen, your friendship with that Anita of a lady, I want you to dissolve it. And those of your friends, all those of your single friends, because they are bad influence. You have become, you have become a beast. And I will not let you have your way this time around. I will not let Sorry. you have your way this time around. I. Shego, a beast. Yes, you add me. A beast! Mr. Comfy. Oh, oh, sorry, I mean, that lady, uh, I mean, who is she? That lady is Miss Anita Ada Amaga, aka Triple A. She's the second assistant general manager of this company. Wow, I mean, impressive profile. Mm. But she seems not to be friendly at all. No, yeah, she's not. Have you tried? If you haven't, please don't try it. Just to avoid being disgraced. Oh, really? Okay. I'll see you later, eh? Okay, Sam. Oh. Right. I'm going to say you show. <laughs> How do you want? Man, we're pushing it, man. Ah, Alpha. No, you just tell me. You don't eat. Oh boy, man. Hunger just cast me left, right, center. You don't, you don't learn. At all. But that was Disha. Anyway, how are you settling down in your new office? I know this uh, job transfer thing could be very, very difficult sometimes. So destabilizing. Well, 
what can I do, my brother? I will just, uh, I will soon get used to it. But besides, I think I have found some one that uh, I will keep my time with. Mm. Yes. Go feed yes, the lover <laughs> boy. <laughs> when you just arrived. Oh boy. Um, that reminds me. You know that lady that did that presentation? Which was the presentation? Wait. Uh, Anita Amaga. Exactly. Oh, more the brother baby in my eye like so, man. Anytime I see that girl, I go just confuse. I go just destabilize. In <laughs> fact, eh, anytime I get too fine. <laughs> oh, wait. Do I need to get changed? I mean, what's happening now? Now you will come up from my office. Oh. <laughs> no breaks, no breaks, no breaks. Man, I can't remember the last last time I had this cracking laugh. <gasps> Mr. Kofi, when did you resume? You already fallen in love. <laughs> I pity you. And then you didn't pick any other person around this vicinity. Na Anita Amaga. Ah. <laughs> So, what is wrong with her? Is she not human? Bro, she is a sadist. Yes. She is very much a sadist. And that bitch no get time for love stories. All she's about in this town is how to be a general manager. I've never seen so anyone who is as ambitious as her in this life. She's rude. She's disrespectful. And she's all about bad vibes. Baba, that's actually the reason why I guess she's not married now. So I will advise you. And that's a quick one. Please stay away. Except you want to be in her bad book. Ta! Come off of there. Ta! Again, sir. What are you doing? Ah, look this man. You don't know who I be. <laughs> Abi, you don't trust me again. You say, I mean, that, that place where they talk, say, men and they go. Now the place with me, the light will be that. Bad guy. Yes, sir. I trust you. Uh -uh. All right, call me. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Mr. Kofi, um, the CEO would like to see in his office right now. Okay, I mean, um, okay, dear. All right, sir. Thank you, sir. Guy, you didn't see that one. You didn't look at that one. Now, Anita, you did go for mission impossible. Come on, come on. Mr. Cruise. Come on, 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 come as in that light, I want you to quickly, two of you, come up with different presentation, which would help me to decide who will become the new general manager of this firm. Is that understood? Yes, sir. Any question? None for me. All right then. In the absence of no question, we will go back to your workplace. She'll be more concerned about her presentation. What do you want? Sir, ma, ma, ma. What, what, this is what I don't like. I just don't like this. You told me that whenever anybody came to you, I should tell the person that you are not available. Now, I'm, I'm trying to ask you, one more, one Mr. Coffee, I don't Open like Open the that. door. What, 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 what is now? Look, look, look. It's fine, you can go. Ma, one more, one more. No, sir. I don't like that, though. Don't let me repeat what No, you. sir. We have the other
What have you come to do in my office? Well, you're looking tense during the presentation. Um, well, it's okay. I mean, that presentation was so good. I mean, it doesn't matter if you don't get picked for the position, but, well, somebody has got to let you know. That was excellent. I don't need you or anyone else for that matter to tell me that my presentation was the best. It was perfect. What I'm actually surprised at is the fact that you have the courage to step into my office to gloat. I thought only people who did so perfectly well had gloating rights. Anita, don't be silly. You're the only woman here who is fighting like a hungry lion. See, this isn't about being the best. This isn't about performance. This is a fight for territory, and by right, this is my territory. But hey, that's not why I'm here. Maybe you should go to where women belong. Guess what? What is mine will be mine, and what is yours will be yours. Go home and get some rest. You look tensed. I am not tense. And I don't need you to tell me that my presentation was the best. Rubbish! You all can go rent a space in hell for all I care. Why are you always yelling at everybody each time I come to your office? Imagine that ugly duckling. That figurine that should be kept in the museum. Had the guts to walk into my office. To gloat despite his very terrible performance. Imagine telling me that I should be where women belong. Like, why do these men feel that they, they, they can boss us around simply because they have one uncircumcised something hanging in between their, their legs? <laughs> what is funny? I'm sorry. Susie, calm down. Calm down. Huh? Anita, do you know how it's hurting my heart each time I come here and see you like this? Huh? Honey, you sound like a pathetic feminist. On national TV. Okay, okay, you know. Oh yeah, just see. How was your presentation? And this one you're even sounding like this. Hope it went well. Of course it did. My presentation was perfect. Excellent. Why all this? And as usual, <laughs> they will all clap and smile. But we we'll end up giving the job to someone else. Someone else, anyone else, provided it's not Anita, a woman. Come on, oh, useless baby girl. People. Come on. I'm sure this time around they will make the best decision. Don't give it to someone who deserves it. Really? Yes. Why do you think Kofi came here to gloat? Even though that he's sure he's already getting that promotion. Please, I really don't care about this company anymore. Like I told him, they can all go rent a space in hell for all I care. Wow. Hey, well, please, let's change the topic. What's up? How you doing? What is wrong with your face? My face? What happened to your face? Where? Oh, <laughs> I was trying to, you know, in the kitchen, I was cooking and I was trying to get a fry pan fr from inside the chef and all the pots in my sh on top of my chef, everything fell on me. All the pots in your house? I swear to God. Wow. Ma, if not for God, ha! I will have lost my right eye. I'm serious. Yeah. May God have mercy on us. Happy. Happy path. Thank you for rescuing me. I've been wondering when to come down and take tea. Hmm. Workaholic. How's my boy? It's fine. He's with his grandma. Abby. <laughs> so that's how you're flexing. <laughs> flexing. See my girls. Ah, ah. Hey, Lisa, baby. How are you? Good How are you? to see you, darling. How are you? I'm fine, love. You're good. You ah, it's been a while, though. You, Anita, you. Ah, ah. You know they try, you. You know they try. Even if Sola went on marry, still they check up on me. But you. Come on, girl. You know how busy my work could be now. Ah, Maggie. Not only you, they busy. You can hear what? Okay. Don't be too hard on her. How far now? How is how is the work? Well, we're pushing it. Anyway, someone is soon gonna be promoted to general manager. Really? Wow. Yes. Really? <laughs> and I'm sure this time around she will have our time. Ha. 
Everywhere don't still be that now. Mm -hmm. uh, so she, she, uh, can't get back. <laughs> we are going to, you know, you you will flex yourself. Respect yourself. Mm. Respect uh, yourself. You flex yourself. Ah, uh, sure now. You know that sort of problem. Mm -hmm. You know that sort of problem, girls. But wait, mm -hmm. though, Anita. Me. Okay, I ask you. When are you buying your Ashibi? Now. You don't the old, though. You don't the old. Hey. You won't wear new clothes. Go buy clothes for markets. And what's all this? Girls, seriously. <laughs> I'm not psychologically ready for this talk. It's overwhelming. English. Girl, you need a man in your life. Exactly. You're not getting any younger. So you two left your husband's houses to come sit here and talk about me. And you, you're even taking my tea. If they open my it's out to me and you have friends. Please change the topic, please. Loco is home. My darling. How has your day been? Come on, don't tell me you're still upset with me. But I said I'm sorry. Okay. I got this for you. Thank you. I know. I know I was wrong. I shouldn't have hate you. But it's because of the love I have for you. I don't want to lose you to anyone. Not even your friends. If I had my way, I would stay in this house with you. Every day. Try and understand. I have heard you. I've forgiven you. Why are you home early? I just want to spend some good time with my wife. Hmm. That's interesting. Guess what? What? I have decided to get a job for you. Really? And in my company. You know, since you studied marketing. And remember I told you we were looking for a marketer for this new project. I've decided to leave the slot for you. What? What is the matter? A job in your firm? That's a good idea. You know, we get to go to work together. You don't have to be bored at home. Shagun. Why on earth will you make this kind of decision without my- Without what? Your permission? Do I need your permission? You asked for a job and I got you one. Yes, that's it! But why do you make this marriage feel, feel like a game? Look, woman, I am not in the mood for any stress today. You asked for a job and I got you one. I Don't nag me! I can't believe you! Since when do you become so self-centered? This is obviously not the Shekun that I got married to. Watch it, or I'll show you what a monster will do for you. What? What's that? What does a monster do? Oh, a monster beat his wife? Is that it? Huh? Tell me. I have had enough of you, Shagun. I'm going to call your mother to bring my son back. Let me see how you're going to beat me in front of your mother. You monster. You insensitive man. How dare you? Yes, what are you going to do? How dare you bring What are you going to do? How dare you? Never know how it feels to walk a mile in my shoes. You can stand there and judge as like, cause that is the easiest thing to do. I've got some cockroaches in my cupboard, old ghost in my corridor. And I can't shake it And I can't shake it now Lord knows that I've been strong for so long Took my time to build these defenses No, can watch it come down now Cause I got dark secrets 
on ghosts in my corridor. I got dark secrets. Okay. Thank you. Anything else? Then leave. Why are you still standing there? Oh, you want me to leave? Oh, like, ma, you don't have anything that I will do for you? Oh, now you want something to do. My friend, get out. I'm busy body. I want to be busy body. No, sir. I did not ask you to come in. Well, take this as that this is my first inspection as the new general manager. And by the way, I mean, congratulations. You are officially now the first assistant general manager. Aren't you going to con congratulate your group general manager? See, I'm here to celebrate with you. If um, the mountain will not come down to coffee, coffee will go up to the mountain. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Coffee. Mm -hmm. You're obviously on the wrong mountain. I'm sure there are other people out there who are sincerely happy for you, who will be glad to celebrate with you. Why are you wasting your time with me? Just leave my office, please. You know what? It sounds weird, right? It's going to sound so weird, but I, I kind of like you. Even though you're a fragile girl who thinks how small crack can push down the trailer. Well, I'm not fragile. I'm just a few. One who knows her onion. I know my worth. And men like you can't stand it. Please get out of my office. Please. Sure. Oops. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Here yeah. is to the future of Karl Marx Limited. Congratulations to the manager and his assistant manager. What does he want? What's he looking for here? What else? If not to gloat over his appointment as the new general manager. You know, sometimes I feel like pouncing on that man, strangling him until there's no breath left in him. He's so annoying, freaking annoying. Don't worry about them. They don't deserve you. Is there any time you focus on more important things? Well, you're right. Um, I'm really not perturbed. It'll be me again. I stress well, my work. This time, focus on important things like, you know. Why do I have the strong feeling that you're about to switch this discussion to love dating and marriage? And besides, I'm sure there's Copy of a guy is crushing on you. Cr crush, crush. Yeah. Please, don't even get me angry. <laughs> wow. At least he has a good taste. Can I? Don't go there. Isola, what's what's that on your hand? That's an injury. It's nothing. I I burnt my hand when I was making breakfast. Are you a child? The other time, you said 
pots fell on you. Now, fire, how do you cook in your house? It's nothing. It's, Are you sure you're okay? In no time, it's gonna heal, you know? Don't worry about it. Well, that's by the way. We need to hook you up. And there's this guy that I met. The guy is really nice. Cute for that matter. Mm -mm. No. Not this marriage talk again. No, ne I'm not in the mood. Please. Please. Anita, I know you don't need any man in your life. You feel you don't need any man in your life because you have everything. But come on, marriage is a beautiful thing. And besides, you might be lucky to, you know, meet someone cute, good looking, amazing and perfect. That would treat you like a queen that you are. Mm. Come on. It's okay. I've heard you. Okay. I said I've heard you now. Don't worry, I'll consider it and we're likely to do it this evening. Now you're talking. Shego. I have to run. Be careful in that kitchen of yours. Voice down. What is happening? My, you know, it's, it's double excitement. Bonanza. <laughs> what a bomb there. But the thing is that our other colleagues from the mainland, you know, they came down here to congratulate the new manager, you know. So they are doing a little bit, you know, <laughs> a little bit as well. The <laughs> mini joint working hours. Now it's 4 p.m. already. Oh. Take your time. 4 p.m. Even at that, don't they have work to do? You know what, whatever, just leave. Ensure to lock my door and yours as well. Because okay. this noise is organizing. <laughs> okay, but so my permission to sign out. <laughs> it's not like I want to I want to go there, you know, at least <laughs> I want to check downstairs if everything is, you know, you understand, you know. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, please just go. All of you are the same everywhere in the world. Uh, <laughs> oh. Oh, please stop coffee. Yeah. Oh, please stop coffee. Oh, so I knew you would be here. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I couldn't congratulate you, you know, yesterday, you know. <laughs> we are all happy for you. It's okay. Especially me. I'm so happy for you. Everybody's happy. You know, for your new promotion. You know, considering the fact that, you know, you've been putting more efforts, your time, your resources in the, you know, growth of this. Uh, no, uh, sir. Who's calling me? Um, oh, madam, get out of my office now. <laughs> oh, come on. Thank you. Come on, come on, come on, no, sir. I mean... A little something, something just for the weekend, right? Okay, what? just just lunch. Money. Oh, come on. Oh, oh stop no. it. What a bomb said. Oh, come on. I'm a big boy. Oh, I, how I, much is that? I insist. How much? How much? Come on. It's just it's, it's something. Just Two K. Oh, come on. Oh, stop it. I'm a big boy. Oh, come on. You can go. Oh, stop. You insist. You insist. That's who's it. No, stop. Get out. Okay. Let's just say I want to save you from yourself. <laughs> wow. I never knew Jesus had a twin brother. A head young man. I'm sure you can see I have work to do. If you don't mind, please get out of my office. You are scared to make friends. To party. To mingle and possibly even get married. Look at the wine I popped you the other day. It's still intact. You're even scared to drink it. You know absolutely nothing about me. I, Anita, I'm not scared of anything or anyone in this world. No, no, it's not. No. Ah, 
Ah, you will wait, go. Police sleeping. Come, please okay. put down your voice, okay? Ah, so how are you? Mm, I say I'm good. I hope this stubborn boy has been taking care of you. Ah, <laughs> mommy, can't you see I'm taking very good care of her? Ah, because I had to take Bolu away at least for one week <laughs> so that the two of you can have time at least to give him a baby sister. Ah, <laughs> we are not rushing it though. Ah. We'll do it at the right time, mommy. What is wrong with you, these young couples? Why is there you young couples of this area just so lazy? Give me that. Just one push and you're already tired. Why? I mean, tell him. Tell him. That reminds me, Shebi. Why is it that throughout one week that Bolu stayed with me? You didn't even call. At least if you don't want to greet your mom, you call to know how your child is doing. At least ask me, how is my son doing? No, you never did that. It was only your wife, Bisola, that has been calling to check. But well, she was always giving me a report on the matter. What kind of a child are you? And why is your heart so hardened? Mommy, let me get your food. Yeah. My dear, please. Me... I'm famished. <laughs> oh. Mommy. What is this? Ah. What is this? What happened to you? Be so la kilo shele. Mommy, I I I, I fell down the staircase. I hope you're telling me the truth. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Take it easy. Okay. Let me get your food. Okay. Oh, girl. Your arms around me. No, stop, stop. No, 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 stop. It's okay. I, I, I think you need to, uh, you need to go and rest. Nobody tells me what to do. This is my house. Nobody tells me what to do in my own house. This is my house. No, no, I mean. Easy, okay? I mean, where is Sangha coming from? Come on, take it easy. I need to take a shower. All right, that's good then. Easy. I hope you can take it yourself. Easy. Oh, come on. You think I'm drunk? I'm. I'm. I know, you, I know, you know you're not drunk. Eh? You're okay. You remind me of my father. Oh, your father? All right. Tell me about your father. I will tell you. Okay. Story, story. You will say story, big head. Okay. Okay, story. Yeah. I don't know my father anymore. Well, you just said I remind you of your father. Leave me alone. Don't tell me what to do and what not to do. This is my house. I will never accept that man as my father. Kofi? Yes? Who is a father? A 
father? Well, a, a father is a male figure who provides shelter, love, care, and protects his family, even if it means sacrificing his own life. Who? Why? I watched him struggle, my mother. Struggled her with his bare hands. I I heard him countless times screaming. I own you! I own you! Yeah. You will do what I want, but I... I keep hitting her. Strong I killed her. He killed her. No! Why is it out? Why did that? Kill me! I'll kill you! Let me! 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 Yes, uh, my wife just committed suicide. She stabbed herself and she killed herself. Here's my, my address. Um, block 3, flat 2. It's Lord Mala Street. Thank you. Thank you. Please come with me. Thank you. Uh, you never know how it feels to walk a mile. In my shoes You can stand there and judge as to lie Cause that is the easiest thing to do I've got some cockroaches in my cupboard Old ghost in my corridor And I can't shake it Daddy, no! Daddy, no! Daddy, no! No! Daddy, no! Daddy! Daddy, no! No! Daddy, no! No! Daddy! Daddy! They staged everything and make it look like a suicide. Everyone else believed me, except me. I watched it all happen. I watched it. But I was... I was too young to be taken serious. I was young and foolish. My father could not get over his guilt. So he took to alcohol. And shortly after, I became his punching bag. He was beating me. Hey, I need some talking. It's okay. 
I see. I see. His presence is everywhere. In this house. My, my bedroom. Well, that is all he is. Presence. Because he can never be my father. He is nothing but a ghost from the past. So, how did you deal with the police? Some cockroaches in my cupboard, old ghost in my corridor, and I can't shake it, and I can't shake it now. Lord knows that I've been strong for so long. Took my time to build these defenses. No, can watch it come down now, cause I got dark secrets, old ghost in my corridor. Dark secrets Nobody can understand But I've got Dark secrets Secrets I can seem to shake up Dark secrets Nobody knows how deep it hurts And nobody cares I gotta be strong for myself I gotta keep keeping on Cause all I got is Through the rising fall Mirror on the wall Here we go again Secrets, secrets Secrets, secrets Secrets, secrets Did I send for you? Oh, Elohim, Eloha. Thank God. Ma, not today I've, I've, I'm up early. Is the spirit, oh? Is the spirit telling you? No, no, I was, you know, I was at the roadside taking a uh, uh, coffee. Now I saw your car. If a girl was trying to toast me, I told the girl, please, I'm still a virgin. Please stop worrying me. I can't be broken like that. No, please. I do not have strength for your folly this morning. Okay? Um, I just need you to get back to your work. And please don't let anyone come into my office today. I want to have an alone time. Is that okay? No problem. It's not, it, it, I'm just, I care about you. Hey, even today that you, you have changed, you know, you're even wearing shades, you know. So I was, I was kind of worried. The way your car was shim like that, you know. Hey, what of the gym? If the gym, say, I should call you, what should I say? No. Body, especially the gym. Ah. 
My dad is God, too. That is God, too. This line is too much. That is a hashtag lying there now. No, 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 I can't get out. Oh, wow. Uh, what are you looking for? I'm looking for my pen. Oh, um, this is my yeah. home. You mean this pen? Oh, that's it. Thank you. Where did you find it? Are you hiding from me? Hiding? For what? Anita, see, I know you feel embarrassed about yesterday. And surprisingly, I saw a part of you that I liked that yesterday. I also feel embarrassed. Please, stop patronizing me. I'm not patronizing you. Right from the world go, I have much of this deep likeness and connection for you. Hey, hold it right there. You... Oh, I see. You think you have found yourself a girl. Someone you can lure into a relationship for your selfish pleasure. Simply because I let you into my personal space. Anita, what are you talking about? I only wanted to... You wanted to... I don't want to hear any more of it. Whatever we did last night, I'm already disgusted. So, stop it. I mean, what, what are you talking about? I'll get out of my office. Really? Yes, please. Get out. Yes, Lisa, what's up? Really? I hope she's fine. I've been trying to reach her, so... Yeah, I think that would be nice. Okay, you know what? I'll pick you up. I just got here, but I mean, I could come out. No, it's fine. No problems. All right, thank you very much. See you later. Wajoko. I mean, I'm getting late. Come and sit down. I want to talk to you. Shegu. Mami. Bisola. Mami. What is going on in this house? Where there is Rima Soro, you see. Start talking. Mami, there is no problem. Bisola. Mami. Shegu. I hope you're not maltreating this girl. No, Mami. Not at all. Mami. Kinodi. If I go lay, Mami, I want to leave this house, Mami. Why? <laughs> talk to me, talk to me like, what is it? Mommy, it's me almost every day. Ah, Mommy, Shaggy. Shaggy! So you have not changed? Hey, All what you do is to frustrate my effort. What is wrong with you? But, Mommy. It's not like that. She's exaggerating these things. Chego! Chego! Hold you, me, Dada! Amy! Amy, exaggerate! If you think I'm lying, watch you, me, Dada! Huh? Oh, let's So you can no longer talk, right? <sighs> Shaggy, come on, Shio. Be sorry. Mommy. I owe you an apology. 
but I will tell you later. But for now, I want you to go in there, pack everything that belongs to you. We are leaving this house today with Bolu. But mommy, eh? Don't bother me. Did they close your cotton money? Cause she missing. What did you call Mami. Why are you bent on destroying everything God has blessed you with? Now listen to me. I will not cover you again. No. Not again. I will try it. I would fold my hands and watch you destroy her the way you did to your first wife. Mommy, I have refused to get angry in this matter. This is my house and I call the shots. The matter is not as serious as you think. Please drop it. Really? Drop it, Mommy. Really? I know this is your house and you can do anything you like. But listen to me, Shegu. I will not sit down and watch you destroy the life of another girl. All in the name of marriage. Now listen, let me tell you. Despite the fact that you are my only son, I will not hesitate to report you to the police if you don't behave yourself. Yes! And I mean every word I've just said. Agbaya. Mommy. Mommy. Can you go tell him to move from up for me? What are you hiding? What are you two hiding from me? Um, I am I am late to work when I come back. Ah. I've been trying to reach you for like two days now. You're crying. Mommy. You see, I can't continue this marriage. I can't continue with a man who only, who only thinks of me as making his own meal. And when I make mistake, his fist speak. I said it. I suspected it, Bisola. With your kitchen utensils, excuses, I knew it. I swear, only a useless man who has no home training will have the audacity to do this evil act. Huh? Bisola, I'm so ashamed though. Of all the men in the world, you chose that monster to spend the rest of your life with. <laughs> His mother did not train him well. Lisa! <laughs> Mommy, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't mean it that way. Oh. It's alright. I deserve it. It's my fault. I have only been concerned about my career. I rose to the greatest level of my dreams. I left shame in the hands of numerous caregivers. When Shego's father began to complain too much, Left him. After all, I was the one paying most of the bills. Shegu grew up to know me as a stranger. When it was time for me to play my role as 
هستیم موزم It was too late My only son My only son He became something Oh my god He ended up having two failed marriages You mean Chegu was married before meeting me? Then, twice. Hey! I hear me, Mugbe. Ah! Hey! It's okay, it's okay, my daughter. I'm sorry. I felt this was an opportunity for me to make things right. When you told me how you never got to know your mother, I felt this was an opportunity for me to act as a mother by all means. I didn't want this marriage to crash like others. I'm sorry. Mommy, if only Kitty Berry, where should I start my life from? Johnny, so you calm down. Calm ah, down. I'm calm finished. Down. My daughter, and that is why I am telling you that you have to leave this place today. I don't want you to take any drastic decision yet, but for your safety. I want you to give Shegu some time. Give him some time to put himself together. Please, my dear. You really need to forgive me. Please find a place in your heart to forgive me. Mm -hmm. I am sorry. Tigbo. Mm Tigbo. -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mommy, my bed. Professor, you should learn to speak up. Speak up when you have issues like this, especially to your friends. Anita. Anita is not as easy as you think. You would understand. I do. I understand. I'm so sorry. No, you're not. You're not. Stop. Stop. <laughs> I was just worried about you, and when this occurred, I thought we'd come and check up on you. And I'm glad we did. And honestly, I'm truly sorry about this whole situation. But I need to rush back to the office. Okay? Mommy, let me run back to work. Please do take care of yourself, ma. Anita. Ma? You remind me so much of my youthful self. My dear, there is nothing wrong in being passionate about your career. And there is also nothing wrong in being a full-time housewife. But what you need to do, you don't need to be carried away in order not to allow one to affect the other. Do you understand? Do you understand? Uh, y yes, ma'am. Thank you very much, ma'am. Mm -hmm. And also, I want you to be the best in your field. Love and family. I want you to take it serious. Just give it a chance. If it comes out to be the best, that is how people will know how beautiful it can be to have it. Do you understand what I just said? Yes, ma'am. Um, thank you very much. I truly appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm, Deborah. <laughs> yes! Yes! Now
man who said they talk. Yes, I'm the one talking. You see your life? You see your life? God has blessed me. God has changed my life. Now I'm chilling with the big boys. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm telling you, idiot. Hey, see, I, that broken heart you give me, that thunder go fire you. I'm telling you. Deborah, you. That broken heart you give me, thunder fire you. Wait some more. Wait some more. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. You gave me broken heart. Deborah. Now see me. I'm a CEO, Deborah. I'm not that. Leave my line. Leave my line. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. What a mom said. See, idiot. All this, all this guess. You can't wait. You can't wait. Hello? Anita. Anita, see, see, see. You know I'm a disciplined CEO. You know I don't joke with my work. I've told you anytime you see me in the office, let my document be on my desk as up. Don't delay. Oh, what was what, this? What do I pay you for? No, what's what the reason why I'm, I'm, pay, I'm paying you? You think I'm joking? Do you know how I, I became CEO? Do you know the struggles? Idiot, don't, 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 don't explain yourself. What is second this? Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, my darling. How may I help you? No, 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 I don't fuck up. I don't, I don't fuck up, I know. But the thing is, I just wanted to... Give me the walk by. No, sir. Huh? Gather yourself and get out of my office. Hold on. Did anyone look for me? No. Yes, ma. Oh. Uh, the, the, the accountant, she, she wanted to discuss with you. She wanted, wanted to have a discussion with you. Who else? No, no one again. No one? Yes, ma. Are you sure? Yes, ma. Okay, um, on your way, just help me check if Mr. Kofi is in his office. The GM? No. Ask me again. Uh, ma, I mean, uh, you know, the GM secretary told me that you don't, you don't, you don't japa. In English, please. I mean, Mr. Kofi Benjamin has resigned. Ma. Resigned? Yeah, sure. Go. That's not possible. It's fine, just leave. Go. Are you sure? No, sir. No. Get out! When you dream, dream. Go! Oh! <laughs> you never know how it feels to walk a mile in my shoes. <sighs> um. Hi dear. Good afternoon, ma. Talk to me. How are you? I'm fine, ma. Um, please. Have you seen Mr. Kofi today? Ma, Mr. Kofi no longer works here. He resigned two days ago. That's true. Um, okay. Um, please, do you have like um his phone number or house address or something? Let me check, ma. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, it is, ma. Thank you very much. Okay. I appreciate it. I know. <laughs> Just hold on to this. Thank you, ma. This is between you and I. Good. Bye-bye, <laughs> ma.
<sighs> I think I overdid it this time. Anita, get over it. He is gone. You pushed him away. Besides, this is unlike you. Remember, you got to this level all by yourself. So don't let your emotions get the best of you. Anna! Anita, what is it? I'm being astonished. No matter what I say, everything all right. Everything is fine. What is it? No. Madam, good news. Mm. Imagine. Mm. Can you go straight to the point? No, mm, madam, don't rush me. Because this, this, this is my moment. Don't rush me. If you rush me, it's child abuse. They're abusing me, my father. Yeah. Madam, imagine. I was there. I was like, yeah. <laughs> Sir, what's going on? Sir, sir, no. Let me. I had another. Shim. What's going on? Madam, guess what? Coffee. Coffee. Ice. Coffee. Coffee is there. I now know that all oh, this while I have fishing. What about him? Mm. Mama. Mama. I saw coffee. Coffee is here. He's where? What a bomb. Coffee is there. What are you still standing there doing? My friend, go and let him in. I should let him in. <laughs> I <What>? just. <laughs> Anyways, what? What's wrong? <laughs> Come on, you go first. No, you go first. Come on, ladies first. Okay. Um, I just wanted to say I'm sorry for the way I spoke to you the last time. I mean, you were such a gentle man, and I was so foolish. I'm sorry. Sincerely sorry. Apology accepted. Thank you. So tell me, was that why you played the prank that you were resigning? No, come on. That wasn't a prank. I actually resigned for real. I only came to pick my personal stuff. For real? Yeah. And, and you didn't even think it was okay to tell me. I mean, I, I thought we were... Your friends? I don't know. This is. I don't understand anything. Nothing makes sense. Well, that's the only thing that makes sense to me right now. I tried to talk to you all the time, but you didn't listen to me. Didn't give me an audience. The truth is, Anita, I have always struggled here. I never fit in. I only try to prove to people that I'm better than you, pretending that this was my dream job. The truth is, I never wanted to be the suit and tie, nine to five kind of guy. But anytime I look at you, I see that you're so passionate about this work. And sometimes I wish I had your zeal. But then, I do not need a prophet to tell me that it's never going to happen. This is confusing. You... Well, I have always wanted to be a photographer. And I think right now I'm fearless. I'm going to face my heart. Photography? Sure. Okay. <laughs> that's amazing. I mean, that's, that's, that's the only thing I can say right now. And there is one more thing I would like to tell you. I came back here to tell you how much I like you. And uh, guess what? I spoke to the chairman and after yelling at me for resigning, he is offering you my position as the general manager. Wait, what? He, you... Oh my goodness! 
so speechless. Yeah. You did. <laughs> oh, this is good news. Yes, Thank sure. you. I, like I said earlier, I. Anytime I look at you, something moves in my heart. Even apart from your outward beauty, there's some something special inside this person that is here. You have a heart that everybody who wanna associate with. I I, I see you, I I actually I'm speechless. I don't know what to say, but I like you without a doubt. I you you mean a lot to me. I, I wish you, you're mine. I'm not talking about forever yet, but um, <laughs> uh, I, I don't mind that. Um, ah, you're so beautiful. Hello! What a monster! <laughs> oh, wow! Oh, wow! Oh well, what God has put together, let no man put asunder. Oh, Christy Douglas, Christy Douglas, I wish you were here, buddy. I like come and hold you, Mr. Coffee. I want you to clear the gardens and burn the bushes. You know what I mean? Okay, okay, no sir. <laughs> clear the gardens and burn the bushes. You know what I mean? <laughs> Nosa is such a clown. Okay. <laughs> wow. All right, Mr. Photographer. Can I get a shot? Mm. You never know. Honey. I am sorry to bring this up, but um, there is this something that's been bothering me for a while now. What could that be? Well, I... I'm so sorry to say this, but I remember the story you told me about your father. I've been wondering, how did you get away with the police? I had to do what I did. For my mother, myself, I faced the consequences for my actions. I needed my freedom. Wow. Wow. It's okay. Okay. I can understand totally. A lot of things are clearer to me now. But it's okay. You did what you did just to be who you are, okay? That's my girl. Come and take it easy on you, all right? Okay? All right? Come and smile. You good, right? Okay? Come on, it's okay, okay? Okay, take it easy, okay? You're going, you're going to be fine, okay? Thank you. I love you, baby. Never know how it feels to walk a mile in my shoes. You can stand there and judge as life, cause that is the easiest thing to do. I've got some cockroaches in my cupboard, old ghost in my corridor. And I can't shake it, and I can't shake it now. Lord knows that I've been strong for so long. Took my time to build these defenses. No, can watch it come down now. Cause I got dark secrets, oh, ghosts in my corridor. I got dark secrets. Nobody can understand, but I've got. Dark. 